Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. I'm doing a makeup haul for you today. I don't think I've ever done one of these on my channel before because actually I don't often buy makeup. But earlier this week I got back from a trip to America. We stayed in Stanford and I went to New York a couple of times and Jude sent me off with a list of makeup she wanted. So I ended up in Sephora, in about three different Sephoras actually, looking for the things that she gave me on the list. And of course while I was looking around I happened to spot a few things that I wanted. Also I looked in CVS pharmacy that they have in America. So all these products I'm afraid I did buy across the pond mainly to save a bit of money but um i think they're pretty much all available over here so i'm just gonna crack on with it i've got one bag from sephora one bag from cvs i'll start with the more exciting stuff should i start with a biggie yeah why not i bought this i bought i've never spent more than tenner on eyeshadow before i do have all the prices here <sighs> I think it was about $53. It's a lot of money to spend on makeup. Um, the reason why I did it is because I really don't like any eyeshadows that I've bought recently. And I've not been buying cheap stuff. I was like Bourjois, Boots Number no. 7. I suppose it depends on your scale of what's cheap or not, but to me that's not cheap. And I just not got on well with them, so I thought I'm just gonna splash out and uh, splurge a bit. And I bought myself this one. It's the Tartist Pro Palette. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look delightful? <laughs> you open up and it smells like chocolate. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run you through everything I bought. I've tried a couple of these things a couple of times, but not much, so this isn't going to be a review. It's literally to show you what I've got. And then what I think I might do is a series of really small videos where I review each thing or maybe a couple of things at a time and have a go with them. Maybe do some get ready with me's and that sort of thing. Yeah, so that was my big purchase, which I sort of had to build up to. On my first trip to Sephora, I actually bought this little one and this was brave enough for me because this was expensive. I can't remember the price, but this wasn't cheap either. So this is the Smashbox Cover Shot Matte Eye Palette, an all matte palette. And although it's still on the neutral side, I can find matte neutrals in England, but I can't seem to find proper deep matte shades that have good pigments. So this is what I was trying. These are mostly browns and actually I'm quite impressed with that so far. So that's that one. This is a matte cream lip crayon from Bite. That was the box it came in and I bought the colour. There isn't an accent but I'm assuming it's meant to be glacé. I'm sure it's not glace. So it's that colour. I actually really love this colour. It, it looks quite dark on the pencil, but it's quite neutral. It's just, and it really feels really nice. Oh, this is a freebie Sephora gave me. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. I don't know, some conditioner. I'll give it a go and let you know what it's like. Another bit of a splurge. Again, I couldn't get this straight away. I had to go away and think about it. Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Another lip thing from Bite. It's just a lip pencil. And this is in the shade that I didn't, I don't think this one had a name, which is 006, quite a pale pink. And I haven't properly given this a go yet. So yeah, the tip fell off, which is a bit annoying. So that's that, that's my Sephora stuff. I was having a really crap hair holiday. So I bought this L'Oreal Ever Sleek Frizz Finish Serum with Argan Oil. That's that. And it was okay. <laughs> I used it, it helped. It wasn't brilliant, but it helped. <laughs> I bought Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Blackest Black Mascara. And the kids kindly bought me one for my birthday, which is what I wanted. And it was that's the waterproof one, and I thought I'd try the normal one. Because I think a lot of people find the waterproof one is necessary to get their eyelashes to stay in place with decent mascara i haven't had that problem in the past so i wanted to try this one to see if it was any different really oh i bought some cool copper things i needed some tweezers chris needed some toenail clippers but they had these cool copper sets and this was actually from macy's backstage there's a really good shopping mall in stanford if you're ever there i would highly recommend going in and particularly go in they've got a shop called Saks off fifth which has all like past season stuff, really cheap. And there's also a Macy's backstage, which is again, cheaper stuff. And I bought this lovely sort of copper set from there. They were $4 each. I don't think that was too bad. The other thing I bought from there though, Maybelline 
instant age rewind eraser for dark circles the kids tell me this is a classic staple for youtubers but, but i haven't got it so i thought i'd try it the only thing that annoyed me was that i paid ten dollars for this thinking it was a cheaper price than normal and then i saw it for eight dollars in cvs so bargains are not always what they seem what else did i get i also bought this was in cvs rimmel stay matte makeup primer i've yet to try that and maybelline dream matte mousse foundation I don't know if you get a theme from this, but yes, I'm looking for matte products. Every time I watch my YouTube videos back, all I see is shine, shine, shine off my face. So I've got, yeah, matte primer, matte mousse, matte eyeshadow, and <laughs> the next thing I need to find is, uh, I want a mattifying setting spray. That's the next thing on my list. And lastly, boots number seven, protect and perfect i've been wanting to get this for ages i stood in boots looking at the 25 pound price tag and i just couldn't bring myself to buy it so i've been trying a couple of others which i just they're just not as good so so this was top of my list i knew cvs had it in america and it's 25 dollars which at the exchange rate as it is is not much of a saving now it, you know obviously there's still a few pounds off I know Boots number seven are always doing three for two, but that would be okay if there were three products I wanted to buy or even two products I wanted to buy, but there never is, it's just the one. I didn't realise it was SPF 30, I thought it was only 15. So I'm very pleased to have that in time for my holiday, which is coming soon. And that's actually everything. I wasn't sure whether to do this video, I never know what quite the point of them is. I'm still getting to grips with what is normal on YouTube and what isn't. Please let me know in the comments if this sort of thing is what you like watching. Really, it's a sort of a what's coming up type video, I suppose, because I will be testing out most of these things. And like I said at the beginning, doing some new videos, trying the products and reviewing them and letting you know what I think. Hopefully it will be helpful. I know some of these products apparently have been all over YouTube, I think particularly this one. I do try and keep myself uninfluenced by other reviewers, so I haven't watched anyone else's. So they will be completely unbiased reviews. Things like the Maybelline Matte Mousse have been around for a long time. So I'm sorry if these products aren't new to you, but they are new to me, so I'm gonna give them a try and I may as well share. I hope you don't mind and thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Please subscribe particularly if you want to watch these reviews and get ready with me's and stuff like that. I haven't really done much of that on my channel so I'm just going to give it a go and yeah thanks for watching. Bye!